When the asteroid collided, a significant portion of the impact energy was diverted away, either outward or upward. Only a mere 1% of the force actually propagated downward into the ground. However, this small amount of energy was sufficient to reverberate throughout the planet, resembling the resonance of a ringing bell. The resultant seismic waves propagated outward, traversing the Earth. After a span of 16 minutes and 40 seconds, these seismic waves reached the Pacific Northwest. The valley experienced intense shaking as a massive earthquake, registering a magnitude of 11, coursed through the terrain. Triceratops near the edges of the valley were seized by panic, their attempts to escape the tremors and falling debris marked by desperation. Simultaneously, smaller creatures sought refuge underground. Meanwhile, an ejecta cloud was hurtling forward at a staggering speed of 16,000 km per hour, subjecting the Earth to unyielding heat. The cloud became charged with millions of volts of static electricity, creating a colossal electrical storm akin to an enormous battery. This storm, in turn, caused superheated rocks to shower down upon the valley like a scorching hail. Amidst this turmoil, the Quetzalcoatlus managed to escape the devastation triggered by the earthquake. However, they found no refuge from the ensuing rain of fire. Only the sanctuary of the valley floor could offer some respite, yet these massive creatures struggled to descend rapidly enough. Eventually, the male's battered wings succumbed, leaving him unable to stay aloft. Unless his mate finds shelter imminently, she too faces a dire fate. Meanwhile, atop the mountain slopes, two triceratops emerged above the cool sea mist. They were on the verge of departing the quake-ravaged valley when the ejecta cloud arrived. Just a few hours prior, North America had been a haven for dinosaurs. Now, it had transformed into an infernal landscape. The ejecta cloud continued its relentless expansion across the planet. Nevertheless, its effects on the ground exhibited significant variation. Some 12,000 kilometers away in Mongolia, the cloud rolled in silently from the eastern horizon. Ground temperatures began to creep up, rising a few degrees per second. There were no audible warnings for the creatures in this region. Only the escalating heat served as an indication. As the air temperature reached 50 degrees Celsius, their sole recourse was to seek shelter. Survival at 70 degrees became a matter of minutes, and at temperatures exceeding 90 degrees, mere seconds. Ultimately, 90 minutes following the impact, the ground temperature in Mongolia reached its zenith at a scalding 150 degrees Celsius.